a wonderful new and cheaper way of coloring without using Copics and all the expensive colors that you find. So I thought maybe it's a good idea for me to share those with you. And I had just recently shared a sneak peek of me coloring tons of paper tray ink flowers and watercolor wasn't my color of choice because once you use a watercolor it dilutes down it becomes a little pale and I suddenly have been into this bright and blingy mode so I really wanted things that were bright and that stood out and fortunately for me I found a color that I used to use when I was coloring my brother's journals yeah he was the kind of brother who made me do all his dirty work but that's another story so the colors I'm using are Faber-Castell bicolor pencils now these pencils are kind of similar but not really Prisma color pencils but these are pretty waxy pencils and I'll show you why I really love them so these are dual colors so the maximum colors you're getting in these at this point are only 36 but believe me those 36 colors are enough to get you started right now so my when you buy this first thing you do is pick up three shades now I'm gonna color this in red so I will pick up something that is a lighter shade of red a medium shade of red and a darker shade of red if you cannot have it, even two colors will do, but three are definitely a good bet. So, I'll start out with my lightest. This is the Vermilion. And put down a very light shade. Just cover the whole flower. Do not press down hard. Just a rough. Just, just go as fast as crazy. If you're starting up, slow is fine. Just lay down a light base and for this you do not have to worry about which ink is good, archival, stays on, memento, anything. Just make sure you use a good quality of paper. This one is on uh, Fabriano Brustro, that's 200 GSM. I believe 200 to 20 something in that border thinner papers will press down because you're going to lay down three shades and maybe color four five times over the top if you're OCD like me you'll color five six times on top but at least three times yes so just fast forward to when I finish this okay so now I'm done with my lighter shade now I will pick up a medium shade now, this is more of a pink than a red I would prefer but this will do take your medium shade and go halfway do not color the whole image just go halfway and again I'll fast forward to I when I finish this Now I am done with my lightest and medium. Now I will pick up my darkest shade. And now this will go only one fourth of the way into the flower. And now you are going to start pressing down just a little bit. And again just keep going. Press down a little bit. just the one fourth bottom where the darkest shadow should be and I don't pretend that I'm an expert in this I hate coloring but because it's something I have to do I kind of learned on the way right so now I'm done with this now I'm going back and picking up my lightest shade again and this time with good force 
push the color out because these are waxy pencils they will pull the color along and they will blend beautifully so start from the bottom and pull it all the color up to the top and you will see there is a nice gradation and if you feel you are not happy with this color you can go back in and add some more this is a bit of an orange I really don't like Here you see I'm still not being that perfect. I'm just pulling the colors out. I'm just pulling the dark out over the medium and into the light zone. Because the final step is still pending. Yes, there is still a final step to this. Because I'm not very happy with this color, I'm going to go in and add a bit of dark red over it. You can see I'm easily able to push in more color. So now this is done, I'm going to bring out my magic tool. This is the Derwent Blender Pencil. This is kind of when you're blending, more of when you're blending with waxy pencils. So I just go in and blend the whole thing together. It does lay down a waxy film but that's fine I'm really happy with it so it doesn't bother me but for those who may bother I will be checking out another option which I have which is give me a day or two to get it sorted out this pencil blends the whole colors and gives it a really nice soft finish in between just keep removing the color but it really makes no difference if you clean or don't clean sometimes I don't clean between colors I move on from orange to green and pink and blue and whatever that I'm doing at that time now you see I'm not colored in properly but that's because I'm going to go in and fussy cut it with a blade so I'm really not that concerned by going out of the lines and being a slob in general so this is and believe me these colors cost you around 175 200 rupees at the most I really don't know I got these like two years back when they were just a hundred bucks and I really don't know how much it will cost now but it's the cost of one Copic marker less than that Derwent pencils on the other hand, yeah, they are 400 rupees a piece, um, sorry, 400 for a set of two, so there is a burnisher and a blender in it, the two blender pencils, I will show you the pack in a while. In my first video, I really think I am talking way too much, but I 
it's me and there we're done so I think it looks really pretty vibrant and amazing one more second so these are what the Dovin pencils look like these are the burnishers which I have no idea what they do but I will find out in a while and this is the blender pencil so you get two and I've used this a lot and it really will last you a long time so see you on the other side with some more videos Ta -da!